Hey YouTube, it's Laura here with Little Lights by Laura, and I wanted to hop on here quick and show you guys an easier way to save um, images. And the reason why I'm doing this is because someone made fun of me in one of my older videos saying I was making it too difficult, and they were totally spot on. And they taught me something, so I'm teaching it to you guys. Um, so. If you want to use a Google image and trace it for personal use only because of copyright issues, you cannot do this and sell. Um, I'm going to show you how. So my almost four year old is obsessed with My Little Pony. So we're going to try that first. So um, another trick, if you are doing something that you're tracing off of Google and it's of course for personal use. Um, I highly recommend that when you search, you type in coloring pages because that's going to make it so much easier. So let's try Rainbow Dash. All right, so how you're going to save this is you could either do right click and you could save the link or you could save the image if you want. Or I like to use the snipping tool. So you can um, right click and search. You can type in snipping tool, and then once you find it, you can pin it to your taskbar. You can't see mine, it's down below here, but I use it all the time. So there it is, new, and you're just going to draw your box around this rainbow dash here. And then you can save it, and I'll just call her rainbow dash. Then go to your silhouette, open and go to where it's at which is pictures for me and there's rainbow dash and here she is how cool is that so now if i'm going to trace her i'm just going to zoom in so you guys can see what i'm doing go to my trace feature here select your trace area draw a box around her there we go and then you can move your threshold to try and get all those lines as clean as possible and trace and there you go pretty easy now I know that that looks like a really hot mess but if you just click on it and you fill in the color rainbow dash is blue so let's fill her in blue that's what she's going to look like if you were to cut her out of vinyl so um, just to give you an idea that even though um, when it's unfilled in it kind of looks like a, a big huge mess of just a bunch of lines it actually would cut out correctly. Now, um, you can see that my lightning bolt is not fantastic compared to hers. So if you wanted, you could go in and trace that separately. I'll show you. Try and just get it to be a little more clean. Let's try that. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to right click and I'm going to release the compound path and I'm going to move away these little extra pieces I'm going to move her away too, I guess. Mm -hmm. and then I'm going to really zoom in here and I'm just going to take out these little dots and I'm going to make this a compound path again and I'm just going to fill it in with a darker blue just because give you an idea of contrast to see the difference so see how much better that looks so if I wanted to I can right click on this big rainbow dash I'm going to release that compound path now um, because this is connected it's not going to come all the way out right away and you'll see what I mean in a second I'm going to delete these little pieces and you can hold your shift key and select more than one at a time too. There you go. And I'm just hitting my delete key. Now, see how that deleted all of Rainbow Dash's exterior? I'm going to undo that. That's because this big piece is connected to this, which is connected to this, which is da 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 So, I'll show you. Oops. I'm just going to delete this and this. Okay. And that little piece there. Now, I can take this and I can double click and I'm going to get editing points here. Now, I can go here and I can just click, click, click. I'm going to stop. 
I'm going to go over here, keep clicking, click, 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 and whoops, and I want to undo that and go up here, grab this one, delete that point. Now I can move this back in, and you're probably like, well, Laura, there's that gross thing. No big deal. Go up here, I'm just zooming in, double clicking. There's one editing point that I missed. I'm going to delete it. And there you go. I'm going to zoom back out and I'm going to move this out of the way because it didn't move it far enough away. So I'm making more work for myself. So it goes. Now, before I make this a compound path again, there are a couple little um, pieces along the way that I can go in and delete. And that I don't want to delete, so I'm trying to give it that little spot. There we go. And I saw another one up here somewhere. There it is. There we go. Now I can zoom back out. And I'm going to move all this out of the way. Select everything again. Right click. Make it a compound path. And there you go. All that for a little bit clearer of a lightning bolt. So there you have it. That's an easier way to use the snipping tool to save an image from Google if you want to use a personal use tracing file. Hope that helps you guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Feel free to comment down below if you guys want me to show you anything else. If you want to see um, tutorials, both of my software and of me um, like actually making something from start to finish, let me know what you need to see. 